Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. We just did a couple of quests for Nemesia. We got to see Noah for the first time, and he was voiced by Shido. Like, that voice actor really loves doing po political kingdom running type characters. Like, he really loves political characters, apparently. They just typecast him for that. But anyway, what we want to do... We're gonna back out. We're gonna get back on the right track here and uh, start continuing the story. We'll probably do more Dunamis stuff later. Uh-oh. I suppose the Messia found a new job for me. Damn, we just did one and she found a new one. So anyway, we're going into the White Chronicle again. Um, The Prophet Speaks. Apparently there was way more. Whoa, there was something else. He then retrieves an artifact, the Red Mask. I wonder if we can do anything else. Maybe we're supposed to go back to that eventually. Hmm. Can't do anything right now. So anyway, we're going to continue. Look at this. Look at all this crazy stuff. Stock claims victory against the Chi user, but other foes remain. King's decision. Huh. There's another branching path way here. Huh. Huh. I wonder what that is. Anyway, what we want to do is go to the Scorching Battlefield. There's a lot of branching uh, pathways here. Victory! 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 Yoo-hoo! Stock, were you awake? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I heard you from, like, down the hall yelling. Come on. Did you need me? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. King Garland's calling for you, bro. All right. I'll be along to see him shortly. Um... It's just, he seemed like he was in a hurry, so I think you should go soon. All right, see ya. Ha-ha. I'm Ricky. I'm special. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> I'm special. Rip to your wallet in September. Wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's the guy in the red cape. Oh, look how hot he is. Oh my god, that sword, his swag. Oh my god, it's so mad. I'm glad the city was saved. You said this place was important to you somehow? This is my hometown. I lived here a long time ago, back before I met Mark. You know how there's tons of mercenaries here? Most of them are drifters from cities that are dead now. Damn. Dead cities? Ones that got dragged into fights between Alastel and Granorg. The war raged on an awful long time with nobody giving a second thought to the civilians there. Most of the people who lost their homes drifted into Cygnus. Since it was neutral ground. <laughs> 
You're looking at one of them. So is she was a drifter. My mom and dad died protecting me during a battle. I drifted all over the place with the rest of the adults afterward. And wherever we went, I got treated like a big burden. But not here. The people of sickness accepted me right away. Rainy's pretty sick, man. Because they'd all gone through similar ordeals. Probably so. Everyone had each other's back. It sounds bad when you call it a city of drifters. But I think a lot of people, when they got here, felt safe for the first time. It's like a second chance at a homeland for them. Long story short, I was really happy when you said you'd protect this city. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Not like me to get all touchy-feely. Touchy-feely! You don't do so well with thank yous, do you? You don't seem like the type who would. Okay, enough about the past. We gotta hurry and go see King Garland. Protecting We're something, huh? To see King Garland. We're in the sand town, running around. In the sand town, running and running and running, running around. In the sand what? town, buying items. Spending that money, spending that gold. Back it down. These are actually pretty useful. Let me get some more poison wings. Let me get them chicken poison wings. Uh, let me get them panesias. Let me get them more gnu mana cloth. MP region. Really? MP region. Let me get to it all. Man, it co everything costs way too much money in this game. They really don't want me spending money. Mm -hmm. Life's gotten a lot easier since King Garland got into power. Before, the, they actually made it harder for you to earn money in this game, I heard. Which is actually surprisingly. It's usually the other way around. Hey, look who it is. Yeah. Hey, Stock! Ricky? What are you doing here? <laughs> me? <laughs> I'm special, that's why I'm here. Huh? Huh? Hey! Can you help me, though? This is a big problem for Cygnus. I can't tell you what it is unless you agree to help. I'll help. If it's for Cygnus, then I'll help you. Okay. Well then. Mm -hmm. Come over here. I don't want anyone overhearing this. No one listening, right? Okay, here's the deal. I think there's a spy in the city. A spy? Really? Here. Hedge used to be the one searching for spies here, but he's gone now. I heard Garland complaining about it. So I thought I'd find the spy myself. I see. I'm impressed you think that much of Garland. Well, do you have any ideas about who the spy is? None at all. I know he's living here, pretending to be a citizen of the city, but I can't go around asking everyone one by one. I see. Hey! So could you please help me stock? An unwanted reunion. Hey! I'm really counting on you. I'll work really hard too, bro. <clears throat> please don't distract uh -huh. us. Yeah, shove off. We're having a staring contest. Say. Those guys aren't just sitting there silently. Maybe it's the dude over here that requires me to break these pathways, because there was a guy over here. I'm gonna come over here. It might have been this guy. Boom. Usually he'd be patrolling his town like he owns it about this time of day. Oh, what? The Radiant Historia thing is not there anymore. Listen. Did you see that giant spider that attacked the city? Yeah, man, I fought it. Heard a rumor that it's a subspecies of the spiders in the Abyssia Forest to the east. 
Sounds like we ain't going to the Abyssia Forest anytime soon. We ain't about that life. The big ass spiders. The mutated ass teenage mutant ninja spiders. All right, the fights are actually amping up too. Like they're getting tougher. Hey, King Garland is in the back. Mind your manners. You mind your manners, sir. Any items in here that could have been invisible? Nope. No items. All right. All right, Garland. What you need, dude? There you are, Stark. You wanted to talk to me. Uh, it's about Diaz. Diaz. Didn't you cancel your audience with him? Cameron Diaz. No. I decided to meet with him after all. Why? What's going on here? Don't be so defensive, Stock. Hear me out first. I am going to see him, but that doesn't mean he'll get a warm welcome. It sounds like you have a plan. He got nowhere trying to crush the resistance before. Which means he's headed this way because he's desperate. If so, I have a pretty good idea what tack he'll take. He'll claim to want to parlay, but he'll come in force. Garland, damn, this man... I'm sure he'll bring his best units in the guise of bodyguards and rob Cygnus blind. Man, this is my favorite king since uh, Gaius from Exilia. People that dangerous mustn't be allowed into the city. First you say you'll meet with him, and now you won't let him in the city. Which is it? Oh, I'm meeting with him. But I'm going to do it in the northern Atolia wasteland. It's a long way off. Are you trying to shield Cygnus from any danger? Partly that. Partly because Erica is here. It wouldn't be wise to let any Granergites too near. But... Partly, it's something else, too. He wants to fight. The whirlwinds of the northern Atolia wasteland. Whirlwinds? The spot I chose sees a lot of them. And one will be kicking up there before long. I'm surprised you know this. Without getting into specifics, since it's a handy thing to have in a pinch, there are signs. But back on the subject, we're going to take advantage of the whirlwinds to strike at Diaz. Well, I understand the plan now. But why did you call for me? I want you to protect Cygnus while I'm away. After that business with the Hell Spider, the people trust you. You have what it takes. Really? The stand in king? Won't you do it? Before I answer. I want to know something. You're determined now to take down Diaz. So why did you initially plan on welcoming him as a guest? Ah, I see. You're wondering if I have a hidden agenda. Fair enough. The answer's simple. I was playing politics. If we had a little support, a lot of things would become easier for us. Even if it meant getting that support from Granorg. Does that make sense? Yes. Now it's your turn to answer a question of mine. Your turn? What is this, turn-based question RPG? Will you do as I ask and protect this city? I can understand his desire to protect Cygnus and it's a good chance to defeat Dias, Dias. But is letting the King of Cygnus go out while we stay back and wait really wise? If we went to the meeting place instead, Garland could stay in Cygnus until the last minute. Better that Garland stay in sickness while we go ahead to the meeting spot. Yeah, that's probably better. Hold on. I think this is the bad ending, though. The first answer is the bad ending. Well, I got to repay Garland for trusting us this far. All right. We'll protect the city. Bad ending, boys. Let's go. Ah, good. That's what I'd hope to hear from you. Now that that's been decided, I need to hurry and prepare myself to go out. Bad end, boys. Oh, oh. They came ready. Looks like the reign of arrows has stopped. Damn it. I 
Didn't expect them to bring along ballistas. They were gonna do this from the start after all. King Garland, we'll have to retreat. No, we can't do that. If the ballistas have stopped, the enemy is on their way to finish us off. If we retreat now, not only will Cygnus become a battleground, it means they'll move their force out of the path of the whirlwinds. King Garland! You're hurt. Did the arrows get you, bro? This is nothing. The whirlwind should kick in after only a moment. We need to hold out until then. To repay Garland's trust in him, Stark stayed behind in Cygnus. Despite a second Hell Spider attack, while he kept his word and protected Erica and the people. Damn. However, Diaz, Trugo, had always been Garland's head. Whoa! The Cygnus army was cut to shreds by the enemy ballistas. Garland found himself in all ensnared by Diaz's trap. The Cygnus army desperately held their ground until the whirlwinds arrived. Damn! Though they succeeded in almost completely annihilating the Diaz's knights, the severe wounds he suffered in the battle claimed Garland's life. Damn! Womp womp! Bad end. No, a mighty king's death. That's not how I wanted it to end. That's not how I wanted that to go. A mighty king's death has been added. Rip, I really miss my warlord. You've returned, Stock. You've returned again. Come on, bro. Why do you like watching these bad endings? You know what's gonna happen. Let me say, I don't think you've made the wrong choice. I believe I might have done the same thing where I faced with that decision. But as a result, Garland died in battle. His importance in Cygnus cannot be underestimated. You'll have to find another way. I'm sure you can do it. Stuck. Don't give up. Just in case. Do you want to record your actions up till now? I mean, just in case you decide to give up. Do you want to, uh, you know, save your game, bruh? Yeah, I got you, fam. Thanks. Thanks for looking out, kids. All right, back to the White Chronicle. This is like a lot of side quests we can do, too, but we haven't been doing them. Skip. We're going to lead the way. Garland's the ruler of Cygnus. We can't let him take unnecessary risk. I'm sorry, but we can't. What? Not even for me? Let me explain. It's in Cygnus' best interest that its king isn't exposed to danger. You should wait in Cygnus for as long as possible. We'll go on ahead to the meeting spot. What? You're willing to step into danger yourself? I guess that's just how I am. <laughs> Stuck. I like you more and more. <laughs> Garland's like, my ninja. <laughs> All right, then. prepare yourself to head out. I like you. The next day, northern Aetolia wasteland. This tardiness is inexcusable. What is keeping them? The cursed Garland. First, he demands a new meeting ground at the 11th hour. And now he expects a guest to tarry in this desolate place. He styles himself a king, but he's not more than an ex-mercenary who's forgotten his manners. Tiaz, relax, pretty boy. <laughs> Excuse me, you should know that King Garland fears you. He believes something terrible will happen if he lets you inside the city of Sy- Oh, you little rat bastard. No, it's dude. I and you are. Oh my god, it's Hedge. <laughs> My name is Hedge, Shadow the Hedge. I was King Garland's assistant for many years, though that relationship ended a few days ago. And what business have you with me? Hedge, you bastard. <laughs> I have information for sale, information about King Garland. <sighs> Continue. Oh my God, so that's why they had the, the, the stuff set. <laughs> Unless I missed my guess, you weren't able to stamp out the resistance the way you want it, your position is at stake. Well, so to prove your worth, you're trying to win King Garland to your side. It's either that or kill the king and establish your own regiment in sickness. <laughs> then I guess, well... 
That's quite an entertaining fable you've laid out. Not at all. I don't follow. This is no tall tale. I'm sure that if you choose, you can make it a reality. That's why I think my information can prove you very useful. Ha ha ha. My dude called Hedge Kevin Durant. Oh, that's messed up, bro. Yo. Not at all. Kevin Durant ain't, as, ain't useless as Hedge, though. Very well. Will this suffice? Hedge has never been an MVP in his life. Ahem. If you insist. Now then, what is this priceless information? Nobody wants somebody like Hedge around. So I'm thinking he's gonna get done bogus just like everybody else that's be became a traitor. They just died. And I guess I'm gonna try to help you out and then they're gonna be like, hey, man, I ain't, ain't trying to have a traitor on my team, so I'm gonna kill you right here. Ahem. There's a certain VIP in the company of King Garland now. None other than Princess Eureka, AKA Erica. Did you say Erica? <laughs> the very same. She is now a traitor to her homeland, as I understand it. She's joined forces with King Garland. Together, they plan to invade Greynord. Huh? I had presumed the princess's transgressions to be a silly little game of hers, but... Well, then. Cygnus is in his current state. I doubt they'll respond favorably to the meeting. I hope you die a horrible death, Hedge. I know that's bad to say, but you're a fictional character. You're not real. So I hope you die horribly. <laughs> what do you think to be a parlay will soon become a battlefield? It would be folly to take the princess to a battlefield. They'd leave her in sickness. Aha. He chose this particular location for the conference out of concern for Princess Erica. Hmm. It's possible that King Garland may not even make an appearance. I would lay coin he will not. Very well. I shall direct my men to keep watch over Cygnus and be ready for any treachery. Hmm. You seem to be satisfied with your purchase. Well, then. Now, as to my price... Ah, uh, but of course. You there. Give this man his reward. Cut his head off. <laughs> Very kind of you. Don't mention it. <gasps> what are you doing? This wasn't what you promised! This isn't what you promised! Should I ever be coronated, there will be only one class of peasant I won't abide. Do you know which? <gasps> Who? Gutter rats like you! No, not like this! Not like this! <laughs> I know more! Please! 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 <laughs> Hedge, you got what was coming to you, you rat bastard. Oh, snake ass. <laughs> you rattlesnake. Deploy soldiers to Cygnus. Put them on the watch for any movement by Garland. Once we have disposed of him, Cygnus will surely fall. Archers, ready the usual. We'll demonstrate to these desert folk the terrible might of the Diaz Knights. Not like this. Hey! Hold on, we're gonna be fighting a big group, right? Are you crazy trying to attack with so few of us? What's the matter, Ricky? You're awfully timid today. Uh... How are we gonna beat those guys? Every terrain, whether plains, deserts, or wilderness, has a tactic suited to it. Sure, we'll be outnumbered. But we'll have the geographical advantage. Geographical? I was never really good at geographical stuff. What? That won't be enough to help things go our way, will it? There's more we can count on. A whirlwind's coming soon, and it will pass directly over the meeting spot. So, nature itself is on our side. It's a good thing that Hedge did not spoil the whirlwind tech to Diaz. So we still got that going for us. I guess Hedge did one last good thing. He didn't talk too much. He didn't <laughs> he didn't say everything. There are many ways to fight a battle against men. 
But nothing can hope to win a battle with nature. That's right. Whirlwinds, tornadoes, you get bodied. That's right. Though, we're still up against Granorg's soldiers. It won't be an easy fight. But it must be fought regardless. So enough belly aching. You'd better get ready. Yeah. Our main force will be staying in Cygnus until the last minute to catch the enemy off guard. Stock, your men will pressure their forces so they don't stray from the meeting spot. All right, gotta put the pressure on them. All right, I feel you. All right. We'll lower their numbers as much as we can until your main force arrives. Erica, you'll wait here. What? I will do no such thing. We're up against Dios. It's too dangerous for you to go near him. I appreciate the concern, but I don't believe I'm so weak. <sighs> Still. And if I beat Diaz and his men, it will be a show of strength for the Resistance. I'd say it's a necessary step to dethrone my stepmother and take back my country. She's got you beat, Stock. <laughs> got him. If you force her to stay and she ends up following us anyway, that'll be even worse for us. You gotta get those corner mix-ups. Best that she's somewhere we can keep an eye on her. Then I guess it's settled. But I will expect you to obey orders in the field. Of course. Thank you. Obey orders in the field, that's right. Is everything ready, then? I'm entrusting Princess Erica to you, Stock. I'll be leaving here before the whirlwind happens. We'll launch a joint attack once I get there. Good luck to you, King Garland. And the same to you. Let's get it! The time has finally come. The time has come. We're facing Diaz. And I doubt he'll make a move without a plan up his sleeve. Probably not. Probably not. But we've got our own trick up our sleeve with the ambush and all, right? Plus, Cygnus is going to be pulling a whirlwind out of their hat for the finishing touch. True. This is a war after all. Let's trust in King Garland's plan and our own strength. So? Are you coming with us after all, Princess? Naturally. If it's Diaz we face. All the more reason I mustn't cower and hide. I'm coming too. Had a feeling you'd say that. All right. But if you ever feel like you're in serious danger, head back immediately. Understood. Leave it to me. All right, we got a kid, a princess, unicorns, candy, cotton candy, rainbows. We got everything on our team. Why are those guys here? Like, yeah, man, yeah, man. You hear about those dudes? Yeah, man, they got rocked. Uh, you, you see, remember that guy head we killed? Oh, dude, that shit was lit. The way I cut off his head. And then I started eating his arm. Oh, bro, that you didn't have to tell me that. Oh, shit, I didn't know you was a cannibal, fam. <laughs> was it the meeting spot on the north side of the wasteland? Bro, they got cannibals on their... <laughs> they got cannibals on their team. That's messed up. So they always planned on attacking. Still, they're way ahead of the game. They know about everything. But how? Oh! What was that? Oh no! Fire over there! Ooh, this is a complete no a different outcome. A sickness. How could they? Stock. Right. We need to return to sickness. Damn. Sickness. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing we talk, Erica. Look, Stock. It's King Garland. Uh -huh. Looks like the end of the line for you, Garland. Uh -huh. And we'll kill you in that brat. Oh, sidestep. Oh, uh, smoked him. What'd you say, huh? Who were you gonna kill? What'd you say, huh? Huh? Get up. What'd you say you was gonna do? That's right, you dead. Come on, scum. Say it again a little. <laughs> I love Rainy, dude. <laughs> like, what'd you say you was gonna do, punk? That's right. <laughs> wait, wait just a second. <laughs> Peace offering, please let us go. 
bloodied armlet. This armlet? <sighs> Log this film to one of your strategists or someone. A strategist? Could he be talking about Hedge? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. That snake. He sold Cygnus out. <laughs> That's right. He was talking on and on about you guys. What did you do with him? He's dead. I think he spilled his guts. Well, well he spilled his guts. <laughs> Damn! This is like the best dialogue ever. After he spilled his guts, well, he spilled his guts. Oh, yo! <laughs> Damn! Those guards are savages. That was good, dude. I'm definitely screen capping this. Somebody please screen cap this. That's, that's actually a classic. That's actually the classic right there. Print screen, save this right now. Holy shit. That that was godlike. <laughs> Clip that. Alright, I apologize for freaking out. I got the army from his corpse. The Diaz Knights must have fallen on hard times if they're looting corpses. <laughs> Hmm. High Colonel Diaz would never stand for such behavior. I snuck it off the corpse when we dumped it in the desert. <laughs> Amazing craftsmanship, isn't it? Go on, look at it's it. It's true. This craftsmanship matches the armlet hedge war. <laughs> Now's our chance! Run! Yeah, get lost! Don't even think of coming back here! Are you alright, King Garland? Well, he spilled his guts. Damn, that's so disgusting to hear it like that. Damn it. I should have dealt with him properly. Guess I've gone soft. What do we do now? It'll be nearly impossible to get revenge for this. I don't like it, but I'll gather the survivors and lay low in the desert. I'm the ruler of my subjects, after all. They come before any vendetta with the enemy. Yeah, you can get back at them someday. But not right now. Right now, you gotta make sure your people are safe. Yes. Stock, what will you do? Hmm. I have something to take care of. All right. You seem to have some sort of plan in mind. Be careful. Diaz's strikes has been added to the White Chronicle. Whoa. This must be difficult for you, Stock. I didn't think they would target Cygnus directly. Am I supposed to do that spy quest? They knew about the plan. That's why they ignored us and went for Cygnus. So then, what will you do now? First, let me ask something. This armlet belonged to Hetch. Is a Chronicle's holder involved with his betrayal and death? That's right. The presence of the Black Chronicle can still be felt here. Oh, man. Then it's simple. I'll prevent Hedge's betrayal before it happens. That should do nicely. The armlet will come in handy for that. Hedge's own possession, huh? Nothing will prove his death more concretely. Well then, Stock. Take care. Thank you, Lipty. That's odd. Them again? Could those two be? I can see. I can see the time ghost. She can see the spectrums. Damn it all! This is all that bastard's hedge's fault. What are we gonna do, Stock? Are we done for? Damn, my city burned. And it's all my fault. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one could predict that hedge would go this far. Noticing what others don't and reacting accordingly. Isn't that what protecting one's country is all about? <sighs> Damn it. Some king I am. All right. So we're going to run that back. But right now, we're going to save that game. Take a short break. And once we come back, we're going to run it back and uh, try to prevent the betrayal of Hedge. So I'll see you guys soon on the next episode of Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology.